I will call the meeting to order. And we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our flag is a little... <coughs> <laughs> it's been windy. <laughs> okay, we have the roll call, please. Mr. Huffman. Here. Miss Noah. Here. Mr. Schaefer. Here. Mr. Seward. Here. Miss Dixon. Here. Mr. Sowers. Here. And Mr. Good. Here. Okay, are there any items that we need to add to the agenda? There is one. We have copies that came in too late to be advertised, and we can talk about that toward the end of the agenda. But anything else we need to add or delete? <clears throat> if not, then we will follow the agenda that we have had distributed to us. Okay, we also have the minutes from our meeting of March the 16th. We've had these for some time to take a look at, too. I move that be presented as distributed. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay, we don't have any general citizen comments. There's no one here, no one signed up. We do have an item to consider this evening, which is the fiscal year 2022-2023 capital improvements projects. As we look through these, most all of them are ones that were included in our comprehensive plan and are now coming to the funding part or going out for bids or getting ready for construction. I think there are three that were added that were not in our comprehensive plan. On the uh, second page, there's a proposed upgrade at the water treatment plant to replace some equipment. Uh, on the same page, another water treatment plant to upgrade to replace water, raw water, and finished water pumps. And on the last page, the one in the middle is to replace the sewer lift station out at uh, Blue Ray Landing. I believe this is the one that uh, Steve has mentioned before that uh, came in so much overbid because of the increased cost of materials and everything else. Um, but this is included in here for this fiscal year, fiscal year 2023. Any updates we need on those? Well, no, sir. I mean, uh, with regard to the, the lift station, council did, uh, we, the town did receive bids and council did award that uh, on Monday with an understanding that the town staff will try to work with the low bid contractor, Patterson, to try and remove some of the, uh, some of the scope to reduce the, the cost a little bit. We, we're hoping to achieve possibly a fifty to hundred thousand dollar reduction on the one point two million dollar bid, which isn't a lot, but uh, it, it's it's some. Um, and then, uh, actually, yesterday we received the final uh, payment from the Ray Meadows, the apartments that's going out there, their uh, facility and connection fees. So that was uh, one hundred thirty thousand dollars to the better of of this project. So. We are making headway with that, and that is a, uh, a needed improvement on the, the west side of town, uh, spe specifically for West Loop subdivision, but the apartments and the new home, that new townhomes going in by 
uh, D.R. Horton will definitely benefit from this. This is one that was discussed at the council meeting. Mm -hmm. Several of us were here, here uh, I guess, two months ago. As was the item just above that, the inflow and infiltration abatement. That will always be a problem with our sewer system. I was just going to say it's, it's an ongoing, ongoing problem. As soon as you put a new pipe in the ground, water is making its way into it, unfortunately. Okay. Other questions, discussion on any of these items that are in the capital improvement program? Uh, and just to update the commission, that first item, the, the roundabout, that is actually uh, has been awarded uh, GEI construction. The, they will be beginning that. Uh, I think closure of Northcutt Road is scheduled for the Wednesday after Easter uh, next week. And then that, uh, that, that construction will be ongoing. The Memorial Drive Phase 2 improvements which I can't find it off the is top that, of my is head. That, is that the bottom of, bottom of the first page? It is. Um, that project, we are in, in the process of, of bidding that and, and hope to have bids in in early May so that we can present that to council for consideration of award. Uh, that project will include doing some alignment uh, softening of the current memorial drive from uh, West Main up to the hospital. It'll include a sidewalk along the east side of that road and shrinking the entrance over to the retirement home so that it's not as large and doesn't present um, as great a challenge uh, for people trying to get in and out. On the uh, roundabout, mm -hmm. what is the construction schedule on that? It's fluid. Um, <laughs> It, it should be uh, about nine to, to ten months. Um, we understand that VDOT had put in a um, <clears throat> preferred maintenance of traffic plan, but we, we also understand that GEI is attempting to work with them to modify that. And I believe that they feel that modifying VDOT's maintenance plan could potentially shorten the construction schedule. Uh, we won't know that how that affects the project until VDOT and, and GEI have, have resolved that. But again, what we can, what we have heard definitively from VDOT is that the, the project will be beginning next week, Wednesday. And as we know, GEI is a local company, so that's good too. Yes, sir. We're hoping that they'll be interested in the Memorial Drive since they're going to have a, their, their crews and equipment local. Any other questions, updates on the comprehensive or capital improvement program? Okay, I believe we need to actually vote on this to uh, send it on to the council. that the planning commission recommend the FY 2022 the 2023 capital improvement program to the town capital for adoption of the FY 2022-23 budget. Second. Second. Okay. Roll call please. Ms. Dixon. Yes. Mr. Sowers. Yes. Mr. Seward. Yes. Mr. Schaefer. Yes. Mr. Good. Yes. Mr. Huffman. Yes. And Ms. Nowak. Yes. Okay, under the updates and discussions, we do have this application for a special use permit, which will be advertised for our May meeting. Um, as you can see, it is for a single family residence and other structures. Um, 
at the end of Woodland Park Drive. The parcel is 6.649 acres. Um, ordinarily, it would be just come in and get the building or zoning and the building permit, except this is zoned B1. So it needs a special use permit to put this home up there on Woodland Park Drive. We have quite a bit of information, even though it hasn't been advertised yet for public hearing. Um, we do have the application, the plat, and tax map, location map and adjacent dwellings, and a site plan for the house and the associated structures. Yes, thankfully the applicant is very thorough in what they have submitted to the town. Yeah. He, uh, he also owns a house beside us out on our street. And I, I'm 100% sure that it will be done <laughs> just exactly according to his plans and everything will be up to date or up to code. Yes. Anything else we should say on that at this I, time? No, sir, just simply wanted to, to give you all the opportunity to take a, a cursory look. We would schedule that for a public hearing unless there's any obvious uh, questions that the commission might have that you would want uh, addressed before we uh, schedule that public hearing. Okay, any other information that we need at this time? Or uh, again, uh, the roundabout project is, is soon to be under construction. Memorial Drive will soon to get bids. Uh, and the playground at Dean Park Imagination Station is rapidly uh, coming to completion. We anticipate having the grand opening the first Saturday of May. I believe that's May 7th. And uh, a lot of good things continue to happen in Lorraine. That's for sure. Town budget getting finalized for next year. Uh, town Council on Monday conducted their public hearing on tax rates. We will have a special meeting at the end of April for them to uh, consider whether to maintain or to adjust the real estate, cigarette, meals and lodging, uh, meals and beverage and lot and or lodging taxes uh, if they do adjust any of those taxes there were a number of items that were were not able to be included in the presented budget if they make uh, if they do vote to increase any of those taxes uh, that same meeting they will be determining what items they would like to include in the FY 22-23 budget and at Monday's meeting, they did approve having the public hearing on the budget at their regular meeting in June. Any questions or comments from the Planning Commission members? I don't have any comments except I believe our May meeting is on May the 11th. And I do have one other thing, and I, I know the answer to this, but I'm going to mention it anyway. Um, the Artisans Building. Every time I go through town, especially if I come in from 340 in that direction, come in and, and everything looks so nice along the Creek and the, the Greenway and the Creekside Commons down here and you come up to the traffic light and three corners look very nice and then there's that other one that looks like a burned out structure to me and I, I think I know the answer but it, it just I think needs to be mentioned that it doesn't look good. Um, I, I, I'm not sure what caused a delay in 
their renovations. Uh, we did have a meeting with the owners and their contractor uh, a week ago. They are back to working on that building and their current plan is to have the restaurant open in September. So they, they have, they, they are continuing or they are back to moving forward with the, the, the renovations. Great. Well, that, that's a good update. It certainly seems to have deteriorated uh, with the delay. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else we need to bring up at this time? Okay, if not, we have completed our agenda, so we'll plan to be back on May the 11th. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.